Like nothing. Like nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna do something real quick. And then, um, the twelve, twelve on the on the microwave. Anyway, um, let's see. I was gonna I was gonna put out the zodiac signs. They're not in order. I'm just putting them out the way that they are. And uh, Archangel Michael asked you to come down, try to check this as a channel the messages. Um, One missing. So we got two for the sun, air, fire, Aquarius. There he is. Okay. Move this out of the way. All right. They're not in any particular order on purpose. I'm going to get some of my superheroes. And I'm going to put them on each one of them. And I'm gonna, um, this is a message to let you know. Um, like, I don't know. It's just a message. All right. Give them to me in a, the order that they should come in. Okay, so put them, I'm just going to put them out on the ones. I don't know what they say or anything. <laughs> okay. Alright, so what we got for Pisces is the Joker. Pisces is playing the Joker, okay? Um, the Joker says, um, that's the Joker symbol, okay? Um, you're just playing the symbol of the Joker, okay? Um, it says, um, once a small time crook, the Joker fell into a, a vat of chemicals that turned his skin white and his hair green. Like a crazed clown, his crimes always involve pranks and jokes, ending with twists, punchlines, that are only funny to the Joker. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if somebody else got the Joker or not, but th this is the, the, the role that the Pisces plays, okay? Um, we got Taurus is playing Supergirl. Okay. This is the symbol that they're showing, okay? You know, that, that doesn't say that they're, that they're necessarily that. This is what they show to the world. Supergirl is virtually invulnerable and has the power to, of super strength, super speed, and, and flight. She also has enhanced senses, including her heat vision, x-ray vision, super hearing, and super breath. Okay? Alright, so Aquarius, Wonder Woman. Okay? Wonder Woman, you're stepping, uh, Aquarius, you're stepping into Wonder Woman. It says, the Amazon princess possesses godlike strength, speed, and the ability to fly. She's also a skilled warrior wearing bullet deflecting bracelets and wielding the lasso of truth. Alright, so um, Aquarius, you're, you're seeking truth. Um, Aries, you're Bizarro. Okay, that's Superman's counterpart. Bizarro is an imperfect clone of Superman created by Lex Luthor to destroy the Man of Steel. But the deflective I can't hardly see it. The deflective, defective duplicate has never succeeded. Most, <laughs> most of Bizarro's abilities are the exact opposite of those possessed by the Man of Steel. Okay, Leo, you're in Superman symbolism. Symbolism. Okay, it says the Man of Steel is virtually invulnerable and has the powers of super strength, super speed, and flight. He also has enhanced senses, including heat vision, x-ray vision, super hearing, and super breath. Okay? Um, that's what you're portraying. Okay? Alright, Scorpio, you are portraying uh, the, the symbol of Batman. It says, Batman has a plan for every occasion, as well as high-tech weapons, gadgets, and vehicles to assist him in his relentless pursuit of justice. Alright, Cancer. 
you're displaying the flash. Okay. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, fla the, the flash is the fastest man alive, can run up, run up sides of buildings, across oceans, and uh, around the world at light speed. He can also vibrate his molecules to phase through solid objects. So, can't see your, 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 uh, in flash mode, um, you can run up buildings, um, your fastest, you, you, I think it's more like you're jumping, you, you jump into something, um, really quick without thinking about it, so you need to start thinking about it, and, um, you also have the ability to shapeshift, to change, um, and go through objects that people don't think that you can make it through. Okay, Capricorn, you're displaying Harley Quinn, okay, Harley Quinn is highly intelligent, She's a skilled gymnast, and her agility makes her an, an adept fighter. Like the Joker, she uses a variety of weaponized gag props in her chaos, creating crimes. Okay, so you're Capricorn. You're you're an um, you're intelligent, um, but you use your intelligence for the wrong thing. Okay, Sagittarius, you're in. What is this? Mira. Mira. Mira, with her enhanced senses, durability, and super strength, Mira is forced to be a force to be reckoned with and stands as an equal to her partner, Aquaman. So, um, you're an equal partner to Aquaman. Okay? Gemini, you're in the Green Lantern. Green Lantern, fueled by willpower, Green Lantern's power power ring creates a protective shield around him, allows him to fly, and generates hard light energy constructs in the form of anything in his images. Okay? Um, so you, you mirror, which is a Gemini. You mirror things. Okay? Alright, um, Libra. You're in Catwoman. Catwoman is a master of martial arts and acrobat. As stealthy as a ninja, she's also an expert at breaking and entering. Her bull whip is her main weapon, alongside claws she uses to scale buildings and scratch enemies. Okay. And Virgo, you're a Wonder Woman symbol. Okay. Um, you're displaying uh, traits of Wonder Woman. You're seeking truth, I think is what it is. It says the Amazon princess possesses godlike strength, speed, and the ability to fly. She's also a skilled warrior. Uh, wearing bullet deflecting bracelets and wielding the lasso of truth. Okay. Um there's a little game on the back, but um <laughs> these are these are um characteristics that are, are being displayed uh through like your subconscious that you don't realize that you're displaying them. Um and um good or bad, um they're letting you know that this is what you're coming across as. So um, you might want to work at it. Um, if any of this resonates with y'all, um, I just thought I'd do this fun little thing because um, it's all just a game. <laughs> okay. See what they want to say to y'all. It says, listen to the body. It says, our bodies are full of wisdom. We just need to take the time to listen to them. They often get, give us early warning singles, signals of how we're doing. Little tension to tell us that unless we relax, Bigger storms are on their way. Um, spend a few moments running running your attention through the body from your head to your toes. Forming a strong sense of body awareness will serve you well in life. So listen to your body. Um, this is this is telling you I'm, I I did this to let you know what you're what you're what you're displaying, what you're um, showing subconsciously, that you don't realize that you're showing that subconsciously. Um, to the enlightened people and stuff like that, they they can see it, okay. Even if you can't, all right. Um, would y'all like would the dreams like to tell us something? So shopping. This one turned over. Shopping. It says stores in a dream can indicate what you want or think you need in life to be happy. Also, shopping represents choice. The po possibilities on offer. The decisions you need to make. Um, the attitude and responses available to you. Browsing in a shopping mall, department store, or market, or window shopping downtown 
may be a prompt for you to review your opportunities. The particular items on sale may narrow down the dream's meanings. If you are buying clothes, you're seeking protection, but also an identity. If the food and drink you need to attend to your basic emotional needs, if you can't find the item you're looking for, this is a sign of some general fr frustration in life or a particular need or desire that isn't being satisfied. If you're shoplifting, a part of you may feel the only way to get what you want may, may be to break the rules. Okay. Showing very good. There it is. Okay. Um. Anything else? All right. What is what does collective need to know in general? It says go and make interesting mistake, make amazing mistakes, uh, make glorious and fantastic mistakes, break roles, leave the world more interesting for your being here. So you've been dreaming about shoplifting because <laughs> this card's telling you to break the rules. <laughs> <coughs> That's funny. Okay, I'll just sit there right there. Okay. Oh, I got my other stuff out. I got my other stuff out of the car. Okay, let's push these forward. All right. Y'all can see the people on there. Okay, that's what it's. That's what. What's collective need to know the most right now? It says endings. It says, danger, it says charming, it says start strong, finish stronger, you've got this. It says hard, it says mind, it says laugh, laugh is the antidote, it says birth, it says past, Boss. Son. Stalemate. So there's nothing nothing happening right now. So it says cleanse. And it says that your soulmate is being a chicken. Okay. Uh, your counterpart's being chicken. So I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get my books. I just didn't. I didn't bring them in. I went outside to get stuff. I didn't bring the books in. Oops. Well, this one flew out. It says abundance. <laughs> this one flew. Just slid open and flew out by itself. Let's see what it wants to say. Congratulations. It seems you're due for a little piece of the abundance pie. Feel like you don't deserve it? Knock it off. It's already plated and ready to hit your table. Reluctant to take it? Shut your hole. Abundance pie is big enough to serve everyone. So get your whipped cream ready, unless you're lactose intolerant, and enjoy your well-deserved metaphorical dessert. Wow. Okay. Well, won't that be serendipity? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Just saying. <coughs> okay, and sisters, y'all got anything else to say with the unicorn affirmations? Anything else to say with the unicorn affirmations? What else? Anything? Y'all just want to tell us about the abundance? Oh, this one fell to the floor. It says authenticity and spontaneity. They fell to the floor, y'all. Authenticity is the name of the game. Whatever comes up, I will feel it. Whatever needs to be said, I will say it. Whoever doesn't get it doesn't have to get it. But at least they know it because I've said it. And that's way better than leaving a passive-aggressive note about it. Spontaneity. Um, do you do you like spontan spontaneous adventures of the highest caliber? The only acceptable answer to this question is yes. So buckle up, Charlie. You're about to take a wild ride through the unexplored, unconventional, and unaerated. You're about to learn that yes is a magic word with the power to unlock new dimensions in space and time and after hours hangouts. Yes will lead you to experience you didn't think possible and teach you that lifelong friendships are something lurking just behind the karaoke singer's mullet. Okay. So spontaneity, authenticity, and abundance. It says forgiveness on the bottom of the deck. Congratulations, you're being given one of the most powerful superpowers there is, forgiveness. Imagine that you've been bitten by a radioactive forgiver. 
The point is, you suddenly have the ability to forgive people for their flaws and their bad days, their unkind moments and their mistakes. And the best thing about forgiveness is that you can apply it to yourself too. Have fun wielding your new power, but remember with great forgiveness comes great inner peace. Okay? Um, if this resonates with y'all, hit that like button, subscribe. If you want to donate to the channel, um, it's uh, Cash App Angel Moon, Cash App Dollar Sign Angel Moon 6237. Okay? Um, what does God say? Alright. What does God say? What does the Bible got to say about it? For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done whether it be good or bad. 2 Corinthians 5.10 Okay, um, when I started reading that, um, I got a message just now. Um, these people that do you wrong and do you bad and that and that and that, um, look at them and understand that um, something is going on in their spirit. Something is messed up and, and needs healing in their spirit. It, you too, Collective, um, and you may not notice it about yourself, like these symbols, okay? You may not notice that this is going on, um, but other people do, okay? And um, try, to try to take in consideration when dealing with other people that it's not necessarily you, so don't take it personal, okay? Um, if you got some things going on that are out of your control, um, I suppose that um, divine, you know, divine knows what they're doing, um, even if we don't understand it. God knows what he's doing, even if we don't understand it at that moment, okay? Um, later on, you're, you'll, a light switch will go off and go, oh, that's why that happened, because there's things going on right now that I just completely don't understand. I'm just, like, floored by it. I can't even believe it. Um... It's almost as if the more good and the more you try to do good, the more this dark comes at you and fights and attacks and everything else. And the more you try to rise above it, the more they add to it, okay? So divine has got to be at work here because um, I don't know about you guys, collective, but um, I've transformed. <laughs> really, I have. And, yeah, I get upset, and, and, and I'm, I'm controlling those um, emotions. But um, once it piles on so high, it's just almost like, okay, surrender. I, I surrender. I surrender, okay? I surrender. Um, I'm allowing divine to do the work that needs to be done. Um, Y'all are watching. Y'all are watching it, okay? Um, the ups and downs. Y'all are riding along with me, okay? I'm riding along with y'all. Um um, divine is using you as a tool to show people um, or show the world what God what God can do to trans transform somebody's life okay um, so pay attention I know that, that uh, at times you're you're like um, you know God dang I can't take it no more but if you couldn't God wouldn't put it on you you're strong and he's letting you know that you're strong enough um, that just to keep keep going forward, okay? And I know it gets hard, and I know there's nobody to talk to. Y'all hit me up. I'll talk to you. I, I'll talk to you, okay? Um, sometimes I don't know what to say um, in situations, um, but uh, if, you, if you need somebody to talk to just, to just to get it out, just to release it out, hit up my, um, my email. Um, it's in the description. Um, just hit me up. It, it, even if I don't reply, which I, I'll reply, but even if I don't reply, um, it, it, it's a way to release, okay? And if you don't want to do that, just write everything down on a piece of paper, read it out loud, and then tear that shit up and throw it in the garbage or burn it or whatever you need to do, okay? And that'll help you release, okay? Um, it says, when I lean towards love, I am led. It says, the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. Okay, I'm praying for the highest good um, because there's a sun and the moon both on here. Okay, I pray for the highest good. Um, I don't have all the answers. Okay, um, spirit, spirit has has some answers for you, um, 
but there's things that they can't reveal because of di uh, divine timing. It's like um, Jesus knowing um, that God has appointed a time for him to come back, um, but he doesn't know the time. Only God does. Jesus doesn't know the time. Only God knows the time that he's sending Jesus back. Okay? Um, Jesus stood there and said, Do I have to do this? When um, he was getting um, told that he had to um, sacrifice, he was like, Do I have to do this, Father? He didn't even know. He didn't, he didn't know either. Um, and, 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 and God told him, um, You know, um, it, it's not for you to understand. It, it, this is something um, that's in a higher power. Okay? And so Jesus accepted it and surrendered to, to divine and said, Okay, um, I trust you, divine. I trust you. Okay? Um, try to show forgiveness for those that that's hurt you. Um, I try to show forgiveness. Um, sometimes it flares back up. <laughs> sometimes it does. I ain't going to lie to you. Sometimes it flares back up. And, um, and I have to take a step back and go, Okay, I forgive these people because I love them. I love these people. I... They, they might have done me wrong, but I had love for them somewhere along the line. And so I still carry that love for them, okay? Um, so, uh, I don't know. Asking for a friend. It says, no woman gets left behind. Okay, um, we're going to find out what they say. Okay. It says, I'm just going to read these two parts that are um, wrote out, okay? It says, you've got this with love, your agent, your friend, your Megan, okay? You got this spirit telling you something. Um, it says, "Eternally sorry, when or if you forgive me, I will be waiting, Jim." Okay, it says three forty, and Jim is spelled J E M. Okay, um, so that's a seven. All right. Well, it says when you got time to forgive me, I'll be waiting, and it says um, you got this with love. You know, your friend Megan. Alright, um, so if that resonates with anybody, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to donate to the channel. It's um, 